actually pretty cold today. It's like first day of autumn, winter. Kind of nice that it's fresh, but I feel like summer didn't happen. But today I am in Peckham. I'm doing a shoot for Peach Dan. Um, just went to pick up the Super 8 camera, which we're filming with for part of the shoot. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, I think it's just gonna be a long day of shooting. I'm just helping out, uh, probably running errands, doing clothes, doing all the internal stuff. Take you guys along if I can. for sponsoring today's video you guys know how much i love their cases i never not have one on my phone you've definitely seen all of these before but the one which i currently have on is this purple one i customized it so i have my name down at the bottom in green this case is actually part of their conscious range which is made from 100 percent compostable and biodegradable materials so zero waste zero toxins. Case device, new impact and ultra cases for iPhone 13 are also made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials and all their packaging is 100% recyclable. Their QTech 2.0 technology, which sounds so fancy, also offers up to 9.8 feet drop protection, which is so good, especially if you're like on a night out or something, you know that your phone is always going to be safe. And their shock absorbing materials are now made from plant-based and recyclable materials. I just love how customizable their cases are. They have endless patterns, designs, colors, fonts, collabs with artists. So you can really personalize your case and make it your own. I think Apple have released the new iPhone 13 but if you are upgrading you should definitely get a case to case to protect your phone. Case to have this really cool recycling program where if you have any old cases lying around even if they're not from the brand you can send them in. Case to will use them, upcycle them to make new cases Cases. How many times do I say cases? But it's part of their zero waste program, which I think is really great. Of course, they picked me up with a discount code for you guys to get 15% off. You can use my link www.kissify.com slash moya. They just make such good gifts for friends and family or for yourself. Kissify, you guys know that I love you. And let's get on with it. <laughs> workout it was okay we're getting back into it slowly surely just trying to make a little bit of movement like an every day every part I can't talk it's too early just trying to make movement a part of every day there we go <laughs> um, I'm gonna go have a shower now though I was having some really trippy dreams last night I like woke up in hot sweats um and wrote them down i was in this like swimming pool like underwater swimming pool like we were all underwater for the duration and the swimming pool like took over the whole leisure center so like you could go get food underwater and you could like chill with your friends underwater and it was kind of like people from school but also like uni people and then there's a part where like my tooth felt really loose and i know like teeth falling out dreams means that you're stressed i've actually never had those kind of dreams before so like that was weird that I don't know, I actually got one. And then another part of the dream was I was at this like school concert in the rain underneath these like, what are those called? Parkins, I don't know. 88 Rising were playing their new album. But yeah, I got to see Nicki and like Rich Brown and Warren Hugh play in my dream. 
Loki manifesting one day working with the idiot rising, so maybe my mind is doing some good things there. I needed to get some like top ups of products that I have in Belfast and I don't have here and I also want to try some new things but I finally got a new perfecting skin tint love this stuff and also the stretch concealer I got G6 in the skin tint and G8 in the concealer not sure if they were like perfect for me but does the job and I really wanted to try their solar paint it's their new liquid bronzer got a top up of storm cloud paint I got two new lip products I've never tried before generation G in cake Millie at work always wears this and her lips look so good it's like a really perfect nude and a peachy color and then the lip gloss in holographic because my friend cassia has this and i used to always steal it from her so thought i should get it i wore these two together on a night out um at the weekend and oof it looks so good I have been very bad at replying to people, so I'm gonna do some emails and messages this morning. Today I have an apartment viewing. Fun. Pray for me. I don't even know at this point. And then I am going to Shoreditch to get my nails done. I never get my nails done. And this really cool salon invited me to get my nails done. So of course I had to say yes. So I'll take you guys along and then I'm going to spend the afternoon and evening with Abby because um, I haven't seen her in ages. She's been working like flat out for the past two months or so and on Thursday she's going to like Central America so I won't see her for a while. Okay guys, we are off to the apartment viewing. Um, I'm not gonna get my hopes high, but it's um, canal side. So even if I don't get it, it's still gonna be amazing to see. This jacket, I might overheat in because it is really sunny outside, but I think it's like 14 degrees and I get cold really easily. Um, but I'll link the vintage shop where I got it from. You saw my fit earlier, charity shop, my keys, little tea, and I'm so happy. Lexi just put up a new podcast, What to Do When Nostalgia Hits. I'm excited to listen to that. I'm going to walk along the canal. I literally love her podcast so much. I don't YouTube videos. I'm literally the biggest Lexi stan, so if you're watching this girl, 
love you you're such a comfort um but okay i'm literally gonna be lit if i don't leave now coffee shop ever it's a charity shop which also has a coffee shop Liddy works here so lovely they meet a seller of flat white i'm gonna go in and have a look at all the clothes after but the apartment the apartment i'm in love with the apartment obviously it's like not everyone's taste it's very industrial and some things aren't perfect like the bathroom and the kitchen state agent said that they were getting redone but it's so cool <laughs> So hopefully gonna put in an offer, see what happens. I'm not gonna get my hopes high at all. Um, but I'm just waiting for my nail appointment. It's been such a lovely day. yesterday after i got my nails done it basically started raining and then i was dealing with all this apartment stuff long story short i actually got offered the apartment but the girl that i was planning on moving in with couldn't start paying until a later date so then the landlord said that even though he preferred us he would go with people who could move in like 10 days before um and i just like didn't have the money to cover the first 10 days all on my own which is really annoying um, and I was like super frustrated yesterday um, but I feel my parents, my dad was like Moya you're going to be paying so much in electricity to keep that space warm especially during the winter because like there's no central heating it was all electric single glazed windows right by the canal um, and even though it was my dream space I knew like this it was just too much money and it was unfurnished I don't know I don't know if I'm over it Anyway, <laughs> I got my nails done though. Aren't they so sweet? I don't know if you can see. Um, literally had the most lovely experience ever at Shoreditch Nails. Lorna did my nail art and then I think it was Isaac who like organized it. Um, but like the space was so cute. There was like only three or four tables and everyone was like chatting amongst themselves. We're all talking about squid games and like comparing nails and it was just some really wholesome energy so that made me feel better of course um and i'm 100% going to go back there once these guys are done 